All right, so this is the second part of uh, last thing. I got cut off because apparently I have too many videos on my phone. Anyway, so I am going to pull the uh, first nail to the front, right? Um, then I'll make sure if, you know, the, the center seam is still in, in the center in the back and all the, the position of the of the upper exactly the way I want it. You put the second set, and the first set of nails in here on the front. Again, use both of your hands to make sure that the upper comes down flat on the vamp point in the toe, the last and the second set. So that one is right at the ball, the widest part of the last really. Flip it back and forth so you're pulling on both sides. Um, regularly, right? So now, uh, what you guys missed, so usually if I have, if you have a zipper or laces or buttons or whatever you want to close during the lasting process, I decided to put some nails in um, to keep it right in spot. Make sure when you do that, that the both top lines are at the same spot, right? Also put a little nail back here because it's exactly the right height I want it. And there's the center seam is in the center. Um, so now I am going to start lasting through the waist. Again, this is just preliminary to make sure that the leather sits, or the upper sits exactly where you want it on the last. So again, back and forth, back and forth. Left, right, left, right, or medial, lateral, medial, lateral. Go. All right, so um, at this point, I can put the center nail in the back, right? This last has a little metal plate, so I'm gonna use the longer blute 818 nails for putting the leather into place and I'm going to replace them with these tiny little clinching clinching nails that are going to clinch on the metal plate and are going to stay in the construction. If you don't have a metal plate, you're going to use these longer nails um, to put all the put the leather in position, fold them down and then when the counter stiffen is dry, you uh, take the nails out might trim it down and also might lift and put contact cement underneath, right? So there's, it's always the same steps, but uh, with, with slight variations. All right, uh, I also trimmed this down a little bit so it's more even, right? Because if it's bulky, it's harder to um, last. So you can hear the metal plates and I'm going, there we go, oh, goes and I'm going, one side using the hammer, compress the leather, putting in a nail to the other side, hammer, nail. Again, bite, pull, twist, bite, pull, twist. So don't forget to do the little pleats, bite, pull, twist, bite, pull, twist. The twisting really helps to get the leather down onto the last bite, pull, and twist. Bite, pull, twist. So I think you reach the end of the metal plate. So here I can actually put nail into bite pull twist into the last. That's gonna, yeah, there we go. All right, so at this point, right? So we got the nails done. Obviously we could put more nails in. So right now I'm just gonna hammer this a little bit. 
And also because there's glue drying, you can shape the heel at this point, right? So if you have any little bumps, unevenness, use your hammer, especially on that side seam for the lining. Sometimes you can see that transition. So compressing the transition helps to make it less invisible. All right, so now I am going to use the little clenching nails. Here. I'm just showing both both versions. I probably would just stick with the nails even with the metal plate. I feel very comfortable with that and then let the leather dry and then glue it, you know, cement it down. Um, but I wanted to show both versions. So you have the information needed to finish in either case. So if you have a winter glass that has a solid metal plate, it's not really my favorite. It's possible to deal with it, but I probably would try to either get the metal plate off or organize a different glass, right? Being able to get the nails into the last of the leather is really a good way of. It just makes it easier in the whole process. 